Josh Barton here with the Home of Grace. I'm often asked about the history of the Home of Grace, how my grandfather started the Home of Grace, and so I'm here to share that with you today. See, my grandfather, Brother Bill Barton, he was born with a cleft palate, cleft lip, which is no roof of his mouth. Uh, he actually felt called to preach at the age of eight. The only problem was nobody in the world could understand him but his own mom. So he said he would preach to the chickens and the cows and anything else that would listen to him. He was determined he was going to be a preacher. He worked his way all the way through school, in fact, in, in, through college to be a preacher, only to be told his senior year by a re, uh, leading recruiting group for pastors and missionaries that he would never make it as a preacher. They told him, told him that his speech was not good enough. So he went back to his room and said he started crying. And he said, while I was crying, I heard the Lord say, you're still on my team. He said, I didn't really know what that meant, but I got up and I dried my eyes. I knew as long as I was on the team with the king, I'd be okay. He went on uh, after college, was asked by a family to be the preacher. They wanted to start a, a church in their home. And they said, we'd like for you to be our preacher. He said, I'll take it. He said, I didn't have to pray about that. I've been praying since I was eight years old about being a preacher. I was ready for it. So that started his journey as becoming a preacher. He ended up pastoring other churches and ended up in Pascagoula at a church called Jackson Avenue Baptist Church. While he was at this church, uh, he started, he loved visiting homes and families. And while he was out doing that on a consistent basis, he went by home after home where the husband was off drunk and the wife and kids were trying to make ends meet on their own. And it broke his heart. You see, when my grandfather was growing up, his dad developed an alcohol problem. So he knew what it was like to be a child of an alcoholic. And so it broke his heart seeing these families. And so he ended up taking a couple men that needed help to a place in North Georgia called Victory Homes. And he fell in love with that place. In fact, he told the guy, I wanna start a place just like this. And so on the way back from a trip to, to this place to, uh, in, in Georgia, my grandfather told my grandmother, he said, we need to start a place just like that. We're going to call it the Home of Grace, and we're going to put it somewhere between New Orleans and Mobile. And that's how the vision of the Home of Grace came about. He, he came back and started sharing that story with others, and somebody donated the original 10 acres of land. Another gentleman donated an old trailer. We pushed it in. They pushed it in uh, down that old dirt road into, that, into the woods of those 10 acres. And right off the bat, he started getting phone call after phone call for people that was asking for help. He said, we're not ready. We don't have power. We don't have food. We're not quite ready. And they said, we have nowhere to go. He said, come on. So the first man entered the Home of Grace program January 2nd, 1965. It's been amazing to see the journey since that day. In fact, our third graduate passed away just a few years ago, Pat Sullivan. He had been clean 51 years. He was 91 years old when he passed away. But it's just amazing to see all that God's done during that time. I've just hit on just a really quick, brief uh, part of the history of the Home of Grace, but we have this book right here. It's called A Man, A Mountain, and God. This is my grandfather's testimony, his story, and all the details of how the Home of Grace came about. It's very inspirational. You see, A Man, A Mountain, and God was based on one of his sermons that talks about how God uses the adversities in our life, the challenges in our life, to do something supernatural, something beyond our own abilities and capabilities. And so this book is very inspiring. If you'd like more information about getting this book, go to homeofgrace.org. I think it's under the merchandise section, or if you're in the, camp, in the area, come by and get you one. Uh, anyway, this book should be very uh, motivational for you. Have a wonderful day. God bless.